Hi. Just before the audio starts, I wanted to let you know that I have a Patreon. Ooh, ain't that interesting? For only $5 a month, you get access to a ton of exclusive audios by me. You get access to Thursday polls, even though I didn't post one last week, but... <laughs> I've just been busy. Sorry. <laughs> and, of course, you get access to the Discord with lovely, lovely people in it. So if anything interests you, link in the description, but if not, completely okay. There's also going to be a brand new Patreon audio up today. And, again, interests you, link in the description, but if not, completely fine. So, without further delay, enjoy the audio. Give me a second to wake up, Jesus. Okay, slow out the questions. First, what was the first one you asked? Oh. Uh, well, um... The reason I'm in this bed as of right now is... You invited me over. You had a few other people over, too. We had a fun night. Right? Very fun night. Everyone got a little drunk. Including me. <laughs> and you said... Uh, uh, you had a few drinks, too. I should clarify that. You were also very helpful last night, I must say. You had everyone drinking a lot of water, so... I appreciate you for that. Not much of a hangover. So you encourage everyone to keep drinking water, right? And, um, uh, everyone, like, managed to have a designated driver except me. So you're like, you know what? You can stay here. And I was like, no way, really? That's so nice. Thank you. And then I passed out somewhere, I think. <laughs> it may have been in, either in the bathroom or on your kitchen floor. Bathroom is the bathroom. <laughs> and then you woke me up because you didn't want me on the floor. And you carried me up to your, your bed. And we had a long old conversation about who should take the bed and who should take the couch. A few other things were said, a lot of us, but you know, it's a conversation really. And. I believe I remember you tricking me into falling asleep on the bed. And by tricking me, I mean I was sleepy enough to fall asleep on the bed. <laughs> and, you know, the reason you woke up not in your own bed is because you took the mattress downstairs, I suppose. Which I'm still upset about, by the way. This is your bed. You deserve to sleep on it. I know I'm the guest. That doesn't matter. It's still your house. Mm. Well, I suppose it happened. What else happened last night? Uh, let's see. Um, there's some beer pong. But we only played that for like three minutes because we got bored of it really quickly. <laughs> Turns out we're all terrible with a ping pong ball. I mean, it's hard to be accurate with that, but still, we were especially terrible. <laughs> um, I went on a rant, I think. Oh, God knows on what. You know me. <laughs> Probably a video game. My bet's on Subnautica. Either that or Terraria. Hard to say. <laughs> um I'm trying to think of what else happened. No, 
was the gist of the night. Yeah, when everyone left and you and I talked for a little while. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, what do you mean? What do you mean that anything happened between us? If you're asking if we had sex, the answer is clearly no. We're not in the same bed. <laughs> no, we didn't. Yeah, no, I never do any, any stuff like that. Any stuff like that in general. You know, unless I really know the person. A. B. Never under the influence. That's just a terrible idea. So I was like, well, it didn't even come up in the conversation. Wasn't even a thought. So, we're all good. Mm hmm. Yeah, it was just the kiss. Whoa, I. <laughs> Calm down. Right, what? You, I'm sorry, you don't remember the kiss? Yeah, we kissed. I, f I think of all things you'd remember that. Okay, so I've been neglecting to mention this piece of information then. <laughs> I just figured you remembered. Yes. We kissed last night. Well, I mean, the emotions were running high, and I know I said the whole thing about under the influence, but it's a kiss, you know? Not quite as bad as intercourse, so. <laughs> and I was like, right, sure. <laughs> you want a denomination of kissing? <laughs> um, let's see, I forget it was just twice. No, three times. Yeah. There were, uh, two... Uh, how do I just get this? Two... I'd say, like, 20 minutes after everybody left, and then one... Um, when I was, like... We were, like, having the argument of who should sleep where. Mm-hmm. You seem very alarmed. <laughs> it was just a kiss. <laughs> Did you? I mean, we both said stupid stuff last night. Let's be honest. <laughs> I thought I drank more than you. How do I remember all this and you don't? Okay, um. Yeah, I'm trying to remember the specific conversation. Um, we were just talking about, like,. General emotions. It, uh, the conversation fired up from us being lonely sons of biscuits. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. And then kind of escalated <clears throat> to something else. Yeah. Talking about how much fun we have together, how good of friends we are, and all that stuff. And then you kissed me. I'm assuming you don't remember that. Yeah, you kissed me for the first one then I kissed you back in the second one then you kissed me on the third one mm-hmm you are freaking out a little bit aren't you <laughs> it's really not that serious like <laughs> I mean okay maybe it's a little bit serious yes I'm being casual about it but it's really not that it's fine <laughs> it is Perfectly fine. You're good. Alright. Don't worry about it. What does it mean? Um, we had romantic feelings for each other at the time, so we... Oh, what does it mean in the con... Okay. Right. Duh. Alright. That was me being stupid. Um... I don't know. What do you... <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Look, yes, we kissed last night. Alright, you want me to be fully frank with you? I should probably get out of the covers then. Yeah. Let me get out. Yeah. There we go. Alright, real talk. Let's be serious here then. So we kissed last night. Right. 
All right, look. I adore you as a person. I do. You are a fantastic and incredible person. The way I'm phrasing this, it sounds like I'm coming up with a but. <laughs> I'm not. But, yeah, you are wonderful. You are a fantastic person and a great friend. And we kissed last night because I felt really powerful romantic attraction to you, and obviously you felt it for me. But the kiss doesn't have to mean anything if we don't want it to. You know. Clearly, it revealed some deeper feelings between us that could go a direction I could see that, but we could also just step away. Not from each other. Just, just kind of let it float around a little bit. We don't have to enact on it immediately, you know? What I'm saying is, like, give us time, you know? Because clearly, there's a pull, Right? I really like you, you really like me, you are wondrously attractive, and you told me I was hot last night, so... Oh, did I forget to mention that? Yeah, you told me I was hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was sweet. You didn't, you didn't do like, oh my god, you're so hot, and everything like that. You just like casually mentioned it, and it was cute. Yeah. You were respectful, and... Bestowing me with the knowledge of my attractiveness. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, I thought my hip was gonna pop. A dragon. Oh, nope, my hips are not gonna pop. Anyway, yeah. I am perfectly fine with just continuing as friends right now and just going forward with the idea that hey, there's a romantic attraction. Let's not force it. Let's not try to arouse it. Let's just kind of let it flow and be whatever it's going to be. You know? Yeah. Yeah, totally. That's fine. I mean, okay. Y you want my full opinion of you is like where I stand emotionally. Okay. <clears throat> Fair. You do have a right to hear that, considering the situation we're in. Personally, right now, I lean... See, you're really attractive, and I could see you being a wonderful partner, but I like the friendship. I do. And I don't know if I want to go a little deeper. I'm not sure, but... Part of me really wants to. I will say that part of me is very interested in this because clearly you and I have a lot of chemistry, naturally, and we have a lot of fun. You listen to my stupid rants a lot, I listen to whatever you rant about, find it equally interesting. <laughs> and we go back and forth, we talk a lot, you know? But yeah, I wouldn't mind dating you maybe in the future, but I do like the friendship as is. So, personally, I mean, what I want to do right now is I want to let it build, see where it goes. You know, we could be a little romantic with each other considering how we're feeling. I'm okay with that. Just to sort of encourage the feelings like, hey, you want to grow a little guy? You want to go? You, you want to become a big apple tree? Or are you going to die on the root? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Yeah, so that's where I stand. Yeah. I don't see this as anything to be, like, you know, crazy about. Or, like, you know, just be like, oh my god, what's happening? What's this gonna be for us? Are we, are we dating? Are we not dating? I mean, don't worry about it. It is nothing to fret about, okay? Yeah, we all good. Oh, you have something to say now, do you? Okay. Shoot. Yeah, I assumed there was a reason to your, let's call them extra reactions, <laughs> to finding me in your bed and finding out we kissed. Oh, my dang phone was on silent. I'm sorry. Discord ping is. <laughs> yeah. And there we go. All right. Continue. I 
figured. <laughs> I mean, I figured. <laughs> That's what I mean by I figured. Is that I figured you had a crush for me. Yeah, I mean, it's a logical... Like, let me take you through my um, process in deducting this reason, right? So I said... I, I saw your reaction to finding me in your bed. Flustered obviously and then you had an even greater exaggeration of a reaction in finding out we did smoochy times <laughs> let me keep going so then I was like I ponder is there a reason behind these reactions there must be a chemical reaction causing such things to occur so I dove deep into the recesses of my mind, pulling at the neurons connecting my brain tissue, and I realized there was one true answer above them all. She likes me. <laughs> yes, that bit was worth it, and yes, you had to listen to all of that. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I'm off topic, I know, but... I did arms and back yesterday, and my biceps are a little sore. Really deep. Mm. I don't know how that good of a peak, but, you know, we're getting there. I'm getting a bit more muscular. Anyway. Yeah. I'm totally fine with just continuing on as we are. And just seeing how this goes. I, I know that that's a little... Clearly, you are in a bit more of a different situation than I am, because I'll be honest... The crush thing wasn't very present for me, but last night made me realize, oh, there are romantic feelings. Maybe these could be expounded upon. Yeah, that's where I am. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> yep. <clears throat> Whoa. <laughs> it's fun to play around with. But yeah, we're all good. And the uh, main thing I want from whatever is going to precede this is that no matter what, we stay in each other's lives. That's the big thing I want. Because I adore you. As a person, I really do. You are so dang wonderful, and I don't want you out of my life. The last thing I want is us to be like, oh, let's try to date, and it just doesn't quite click the way we wanted it to, and we're just like, eh, I'm happy, but like, could we be better? Or maybe we end up in a really messy relationship. I wouldn't be surprised if that happened, but, you know, who knows? And we break it off and we just kind of avoid seeing each other from that point on and I don't want that I want to be in your life and I want you to be in mine you're a very important person to me yeah you're very important mm-hmm of course <sighs> Excuse me, goodness. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so we good. We all on the same page. We all in the standy wandy. Yeah. I didn't really want this to be a will they won't they situation. Like, oh, is it gonna do this? Is it gonna do that? Like, no. Like, this ain't a freaking sitcom. I want us both to be, like, 100%, like, okay, this is where we are. Got it. You know what I mean? Because I always hated the stupid sitcom stuff of, like, oh, this and that, blah, 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 blah. It's like, just let them be a couple. Like, why is media so terrible at showing actual couples? Like, I don't care for the romantic tension of, like, Ooh, are they gonna date? Oh, you're never gonna know. They're gonna get together at the very end of the se series, and you're not gonna see them in a relationship. And I'm like, 
What's the point of them? Why should I care? <laughs> what does it matter? Just show us them as a couple. Like, God, why is that so hard? <laughs> Couples are cute to see in media. Show it. <laughs> I don't want to see just a will they, won't they over and over. There's so few actual couples in media, it drives me nuts. Oh, God. It's like the whole first season of Korra was basically just that. Like, oh, will Mako be in love with Korra? I mean, that's a bad example because the romance in Korra is always its most terrible aspect. <laughs> it's just like, come on, show us like an actual relationship, please. It would be kind of nice because, like, I love these characters. I want to see them. Not like I want to see them. whatever. <sighs> I just realized I've been just laying in your bed while we've been talking. <laughs> it's kind of weird. And you've just been standing over me. <laughs> I don't know what time is it? Ooh, dang. I slept in a little bit. Well, I just realized I'm hungry. Have you eaten yet? No? I think you have pancake mix in your refrigerator, don't you? Yeah, I think I saw that last night when I got like the 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 munchies. Yeah. So about this. We cook some pancakes together. Talk, you know, we don't have to talk about the relationship stuff. We can just talk as friends and, you know, continue on as we are. <laughs> And then we eat a good old breakfast to hang out a little bit more. And I mean, honestly, I'm, I'm cool with hanging out with you the rest of the day. I'm alright with that. If you are okay with that, of course. Like, you know, if you're busy, obviously. Well, yeah, let's make a day out of it. Sure. <laughs> alright. Yeah, I'm just dang bad. <clears throat> I'm very comfy, but I must move. <clears throat> <sighs> Sorry, the stretching is necessary, as well as the noises. It's not a good stretch unless you make a really, really weird noise. <laughs> it's true. Alright. Let's go make some pancakes.